been real good. Hurdle for us. stays healthy. Does I like do the Rangers competing at the trade deadline? <clears throat> well, he'd be a rental at that point. He's a, he's an unrestricted free agent this summer, so it would come down to how much the Rangers are willing to give up for him. Um, and I would say a first and a prospect. Uh, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing really more than that. I'd probably say a second and a prospect. He's going to get a first, though, because somebody is always going to be getting a first. Here's, yeah. a, here's an interesting Here's an interesting question, John, because Anthony's Anthony's guys, we know where they are. The, the Islanders are all in. The Islanders are covered boss right now. If the Rangers are, say, in fifth place outside on the wild card, should they go with the group that they got or should they be focused on buying to get – into the playoffs. Oof. Let's I'm going to answer, it. I'm gonna answer <laughs> this in two different ways. One, I'm going to answer as to whether they should or not. And two, I'll answer as to what, what they'll do. One, what they'll do is they'll go after somebody like Hartle because this team's message is playoffs are bust. What they should do at that point is if the team's not good enough, don't go selling off assets for a temporary fix. It's not what you need to be doing with this team going forward. And especially at this point, because they're a bubble team. And let's face it. Pittsburgh's going to some point or another, they're going to have that resurgence when both Malkin and Crosby are in the lineup again, and they're, they're playing well and that it's going to happen. So they're eventually going to be a problem. Philadelphia could be a problem. Washington's still going to be right there. And the Islanders are probably going to win the division because I think this division's weaker than it's been in, in previous years. But I also think the Islanders are still the best team in the division. So I, I, I think they'll they'll go for it, but they should just kind of let things slide at that point and kind of just ride it out and let the young kids just get the experience if they're going to miss the playoffs. Because I can make the case for uh, six, possibly seven teams that can make the playoffs in this division. And hear me out. The seventh is more of a bubble team anyway. But the Islanders tend not to finish off seasons well. Uh, they, they're they very good, but they don't tend to be rolling until they get to the, until they get to the first round. And then they beat up their first round opponent and move on after that. Or, you know, after all, you got the uh, you got the first round opponent having a, a goalie who clearly had money against his team because that's the only reason why Tristan Jari was that terrible. But so I'm going to say that I think the division's stronger. It's just that there are going to be teams beating each other up now. <clears throat> and Philly's going to have a slight resurgence, if not a big resurgence. Uh, the Rangers are, are coming. Washington's regressed a little bit, but they still got Peter Wobbley at a coach and uh, a whole lot of talent. I don't know if Philly's – Philly depends on uh, depends on Carter Hart. I mean, if Carter Hart doesn't, yeah. doesn't rebound, then, I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, yeah, you added Ryan Ellis. He did all these moves. But if your goaltending is going to be poor, I mean, what do you – how are you going to compete? You really, you're not, you're not going to be able to. Um, ah, this this division is is interesting to me. Um, I I I think um, the only teams that really have no shot and watch are you know the Devils and I want Columbus. I mean they're not they're not making the playoffs. And the thing is, I'm I'm arguing the Devils could end up being a bubble team. Like they can get they can get close. I don't think they're making it. I think they they can get close. Everything breaks their way. I'm not a believer in Dougie Hamilton. I like Mackenzie Blackwood. Uh, Lindy Ruff, his, his defense, his, his schemes is okay. But if they got some good center depth. Mike is asking, uh, wait, first off, Dave's saying uh, Philadelphia making the playoffs every year, like every other year. It's like clockwork. Yeah, it sort of is. What about giving Elias Patterson an offer sheet? I think it's too late for an offer sheet from any other team. <clears throat> yeah. If you like that video, we got a lot more. So check out any of these that are right over here. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your ideas are intriguing to me, and I wish to subscribe to your newsletter.